Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, jeweler's pitch is really useful stuff. You can use it to stick your pieces down while you're working on them. But there's so many different names, different colours, different brands, it's really confusing to know which is the right one to use. So, come with me, um, we'll go through some of the techniques, and hopefully I can help you pick the right one for the job that you're doing. So, grab your pitch, follow me. So, first things first, what exactly is pitch? Well, pitch is a substance that you use to hold and support your work whilst you work on it. Now, at normal room temperature, it's firm and hard, but when you heat it, it goes soft and sticky, rather like wax or glue. It's usually made from a hard dust, such as brick dust, plaster or sand, mixed with tallow or wax. It's then bound together using either something like asphalt, pitch, tar, or organic resin, such as pine pitch. And then other things like binders, colours, things like that, stabilisers are also added. And every manufacturer will have their own recipe. But by varying the ingredients, the manufacturers can make pitches that are harder or softer for different purposes. So here I've got a range. Firstly on the left here we have the black pitch. Now this is a traditional pitch substance that's been used since ancient times. It's based on asphalt, like they used to repair the roads. And it's got a lot of give in it. And some traditionalists use this and nothing else. This is good for deep repoussé work, where you need something to give and allow you to hammer the metal deep into the pitch to create relief. Traditionally, this is used in large cast iron bowls, so hence why it comes in a 2 kilo block. A lot of traditionalists use this and nothing else, but it can be a little bit smelly when it's heated. Next here, we have a couple of modern equivalents. Now, obviously the recipe is a trade secret, but I think these are resin based. The red is called engraver's pitch, so the name would suggest that this is harder because when you're engraving, you don't want the metal to yield or bend, so you want to support it underneath with something firm, so hence this is harder at room temperature. The red is very popular as it's not as smelly as the tar-based pitches. These can simply be used on a wooden board or a tray, depending on the depth that you need. The yellow one is referred to as chaser's pitch, and again, the name would suggest that this is a little softer, allowing it to give a little bit when hammering and chasing your metal. So when you're producing outlines around the shape of a repoussé work, you need it to give a little bit, but not to bend. Finally, we have setter's pitch sticks, and these are intended to be used in small amounts to stick pieces down whilst you're setting stones, for example. So, fairly hard and intended to be used as a kind of temporary glue, hence why it comes in these easy to use sticks. And I love these. All you do is just heat the end and then squish it onto your bench pin. Insert your work and make sure the edges are covered. Um, once it's cooled, you can work on your piece, set stones, cabochons, etc. To remove your piece, just heat it up again and it'll pop out. Really, really useful. So, in theory, looking at this selection, the hardest is going to be the red, the engraving pitch. The yellow is going to be the medium, the chasing pitch. The black, softer still for deep repoussé work. And the small sticks for setting jobs. But, there are two major considerations. The first is temperature. If you have these in a garage or a cold workshop, then they're going to be really hard at room temperature. Vice versa, in summer, with the sun beaming through the windows, they're going to get warm and they're going to get very soft. And as you work with them, you're constantly heating and cooling them, so the consistency varies. So it all depends on the type of job you're doing. For deep repoussé work, you need a pitch that has a lot of give, allowing you to hammer the metal deep into the pitch. But for finer repoussé work, you may prefer something firmer with less give. So ultimately, it comes down to personal choice. I've seen experts use several different pitches for different stages in the chasing and repoussé process, but I've also seen other artisans produce fantastic sheets of gold repoussé work using nothing more than a baking tray filled with black pitch. So it really does come down to personal choice. These sticks are great for working on small items, and the red pitch is very popular as a modern alternative to the black tar. So, 
I hope this helps. I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.